Hello everybody, today I will show you how you could proxy your web traffic via your server without having to install a VPN or do any other server configuration. All that you would need is a server and SSH access. For my demo, I'll be using DigitalOcean. So just head to your DigitalOcean control panel, hit the create a droplet button. I would go for Ubuntu 18.04 and I would just choose this $5 per month droplet. For the region, I would choose the one that is nearest to me. Then I would choose one of my SSH keys so I could access the droplet via SSH. Then I would choose host name. I'll just put proxy in here and then hit the create button. Then under a minute, this would be done. I'll just speed up the video. Okay, we are ready. I will just copy that IP. And actually, let me quickly go to Firefox and show you my current public IP. So this is my public IP address. What I want to see here is when I visit this site, I want to see the IP address of my droplet. That way I would know that my web traffic is actually proxied through my server. Then I will go to my terminal to test if my SSH connection is working. I will just type SSH root at my IP address. Just type my key passphrase. Okay, this seems to be working. So now what I need to do is run the following command again, ssh root at my IP address, but add a few extra arguments. This would be a dash, then a capital N and a capital D, followed by a port that I would like to be using. I'll just put 1080 as I like the way it sounds. I would quickly type my password and I would leave this connection open. If you're wondering what capital N and capital D do, you could quickly check the manual pages of the SSH command. I will open a new terminal and type man SSH, hit enter, and then search for dash capital D. So as you can see, this is used to bind an address to a port. You could read the whole specification here. And if I search for dash N, this is used to not execute a remote command and it's useful for port forwarding, which is exactly what we are doing. So we are forwarding the traffic from our local host on port 1080 to the remote server via SSH on port 2020. So now if I go back to my Firefox, then open the preferences and here search for proxy, go to settings and then here are our Firefox proxy settings. What I want to do is choose the manual configuration and for the SOX host, I'll put local host and then put 1080 here because that's the port that we've specified. Then make sure to choose SOX v5, hit OK, and then go back to your browser. And if you refresh, as you can see, the IP changed. And now we are seeing the IP address of our server. So this means now if we go to a website, let's go to devdojo.com. As you can see, we are just browsing the site as normal, but at the background, our traffic is actually going through our web server. If we were to check the access logs of the DevDodger website, we would be actually seeing this IP address here, which is the IP address of our server. To stop that, just go back to the preferences and then choose the use system proxy settings. Hit OK. If you go back to the browser, hit refresh, and again, we can see our public IP address. If you go back to the terminal, you can stop the SSH connection to your server. And this is pretty much it. This is how you could use your web server and SSH to proxy your web traffic without having to install any software or do any special server configuration.